So, lots of stuff has happened. We, we, uh, we got our dirt work done. Over a thousand yards of clay had to be hauled in. If I remember the math right, it's like two or three million pounds of soil. Just so they could get it graded nice and level. Over on this side, had to raise it up six inches, and then on the on the far east side, all the way up to six feet. So, a whole lot of dirt work to be done, um, but it's done. And the septic tank has been installed, and a giant ash tree fell over, and a giant pile of soil has been left for us to work with, which is kind of nice. LP tank got delivered. And uh, we're getting right up on go time for, for getting stuff done. So this weekend, I was really hoping they would have the electrical transformer put in, but they don't. Um, I brought down all of the components for temporary power. And then I'll be marking out the distance that we need to buy for our URD, which is the underground electrical conductors that will be trenched from the transformer to the house and then marking out for the LP lines to go underground um, figuring out where our septic hookup is and maybe dig down and have that exposed so when the time comes we can run our septic lines straight to the house get that all marked out and good to go but it's kind of like the staging weekend because the next time I come down we'll have our transformer put in um, hopefully the concrete foundation laid out and then I can uh, start the trenching and the under slab plumbing and the LP plumbing and just kind of kind of get moving. Man, there's a lot to do. Uh, aha! I found it. Our, uh, our hookup is right there, so I have to dig down right here, quite a ways, in order to get to the hookup. Time to build some character. So, spoke to our local electric co-op about how the uh, LP would get hooked up to the building. And he basically said, dig out in front of it, you know, where the line's going to go down into the ground. And, uh, you know, about a foot or two, 18 inches deep or 12 inches yeah, deep yeah. or something. So, I guess that little elbow I put in is not quite big enough so I knocked it out we'll see if you know he wants to thread it up through there but I'm just gonna dig another oh. hole here and copper you are a needy dog go get your stick so I'm just gonna dig down 18 inches 24 inches here just to give a lot of space for when they come to lay the, the uh, propane lines in building a lot of character today with all these holes we're digging So I'm just running out the numbers we're going to need for our four inch uh, septic hookup. The uh, the drop in to the septic tanks right here, so gave myself a little bit. Um, running straight over, you know, kind of uh, straightest line you can do. Over to the side of the barn dough, uh, these pink flags, this one and that one down there are going to be the edge of the lean to. So I came in about four feet because inside the barn we're gonna have a four foot stairwell coming this way and then there's a 12 foot lean-to here before the building even starts so we're at 47 feet so 47 plus 12 is 59 so I go over to 59 which is right here and then the staircase will actually physically be right here and then the utility room is gonna start right inside the staircase so three foot eight is the width of the staircase so I just went to four feet um, that leaves us at 63 and then somewhere, I, you know, not exact measurements or anything, but somewhere in here is going to be our main drain down into the ground, out to the septic that way. So 
We're sitting at 63 feet, you know, just kind of calculating how many sticks of, uh, of PVC we're gonna need. So, you know, probably gonna go a little bit safe and get 70 feet or 80 feet. You can always return pieces you don't use, so. Getting those shopping lists all in line so when the foundation is actually poured in, which will be right along, four feet this way, right along here, you know, along the south sort of a thing. That way, you know, we can trench this all out and then have our stub up through the concrete for our septic. Hi, Copper. Come here. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. So, I found... I found our sewage line. I'm down about this far. This is at about shoulder level, so... I'm about five feet deep. And it looks like they... They bedded this on top of some... I don't know, inch and a half, two inch... Red rock. But now... I'm sure this goes out, you know, eight or ten feet or whatever, but I can tap in right here since this is where I dug the hole. I just have to dig around it, you know, enough that I can get a PVC fitting on there. And then next time I come down, we'll trench over to the foundation and get that all set to go. But this has been a bit of work. We're pretty deep down here. So clean up the rest and get to it. One of the big ash trees fell sometime after they did the septic and now because it's laying on top of the dirt work they did for it we had three days where 50 mile an hour sustained winds from the south and this tree fell to the north so i'm kind of guessing that was it i'm not going to get it all cleaned up this weekend but i'd like to at least clean it up a little bit this middle section could make a lot of really cool slabs of wood so um, I'm gonna trim that all up and kind of make a few cuts here. doing the well sometime in the next couple weeks hopefully sometime this week South Central showing up putting in the transformer hopefully they'll start on the foundation 
this week or next, digging that out, and then pouring the footer walls. Then that has to cure for seven days. In the meantime, while that's curing, I've got to come down, dig the sub slab plumbing for the dog wash bay and the emergency floor drain and the stub up for the septic and then hook on to the, where they punch through the wall, the foundation wall with septic and then hook that up. And then while I'm down trenching for the plumbing, I'll trench for the LP, the septic and the electric and hopefully get everything all done with that. Yeah, because that's something we have to rent, right? Yep, got to rent that. Then they'll pour the slab after they do the foam and the PEX lines for the radiant heat. Then after the slab's poured, hopefully we'll be able to close up all of the trenches. And then we sit and wait till there's a building. And in the meantime, we buy a lot of things up in the cities. <laughs> and we get a lot of rebates. <laughs> We save big money. <laughs> and then, after the building's up, then we get going. Where? First framing. <laughs> Oops. And then it gets cold. It'll get cold way before that. Yeah, it will. <laughs> oh, probably finish up. So stay tuned for the next installment of <laughs> We've Never Done This Before. <laughs> and we're struggling every bit of the way. Uh.